Hey folks, Steve Horn with Short Sales Done Easy, your Phoenix Short Sales Specialist here in the office of the Steve Horn team. Uh, wanted to discuss today the topic of being behind on your equity. Does that constitute a hardship position? Well, let's talk about what constitutes hardship. Pretty much anything can constitute hardship. Decrease in pay, increase in expenses, divorce, health issues. Uh, but what about specifically being behind on your equity position? You as a seller, if you can produce a financial worksheet that shows that your debt to income ratio is sufficient enough for the bank to view that as a hardship, meaning if it's below 50%, your debt to income ratio, you definitely are in a hardship position. If you're hovering above the line, say 65% to 35% debt to income ratio, you still have an outstanding chance at being able to short sell your home, especially if your house is underwater by about $200,000. You know, in, in the markets of Tempe, Chandler, Gilbert, some areas of Mesa, Scottsdale, uh, definitely West Valley cities like Litchfield, Goodyear, Surprise, they've definitely seen a decrease of 200,000 plus in some of their subdivisions. So when we take a look at this, your main reason for purchasing a home was to gain equity on the house, and at some day be able to sell it for more than it's worth. In most cases, that's not a reality for most homeowners right now. Most homeowners, statistics will show that it's gonna take about 15 to 18 years for the home to recover to its present value or to make any sort of profit. That could hold pretty darn true. Uh, we're gonna be in this foreclosure distressed market for about another four five years at a minimum and you need to be prepared do you want to continue paying rent on your house or do you want to make a mortgage payment you're making a mortgage payment when you're above the line meaning there's equity in your house and you're paying part of your mortgage payment to pay down that equity why would you as a homeowner continue to pay rent on your house if you have a true hardship position. There's no reason to be doing that other than the fact that the bank is telling us that they're going to come back and sue us and that's not what we agreed to. Well, you know what? We may not have agreed to you know, foreclose on our mortgage when we signed the loan document papers, but the bank has a choice right now. The bank has a choice to work with us and modify our loans to the current value of the home, or they have the option of foreclosure. So it's up to the banks really to decide which route they're going to take because if you are suffering a hardship, if you've lost some income, lost a job, going through a divorce, increase in expenses, you definitely have grounds to find a different way. I ran into a client the other day who's going down and she is donating her plasma just to be able to keep paying her mortgage payment. She is in a true hardship position. That is the reason for the short sale, people who are in true hardship positions. If you're behind on equity and you're still making, you know, 70% income over 30% debt, more than likely the bank isn't going to uh, short sell your home. Now I've seen cases where they, they do. It's all going to come down to your hardship, your financial worksheet, and what you can prove as your debt to income ratio. So if you're questioning whether or not you could fit into the role of a short sale based on the fact that you're just behind on your equity position, go ahead and contact me. I'll consult you. I'll advise you as best I can. And you know what? There's no hurt in attempting a short sale the bank may come back and say, yeah, you do have a high income to debt ratio. So we're going to request that you share in the deficiency in the form of a cash or promissory note. Worst case scenario, you pay 10% of the deficiency. Say you're $100,000 behind and you have to sign a promissory note for $10,000. 
that's pretty good. That's 10 cents on the dollar for a $100,000 deficiency. That's not a bad deal to take to the bank, to wash yourself clean of your property, and to start over. Because I guarantee you in the next two, three years while you're rebuilding your credit, we're not gonna be seeing any appreciation. You'll have positioned yourself to take advantage of the market when it is time to you know, purchase another home. And that's a great way to take a look at it if you are behind on your equity position. So continue watching our, our video blogs and visit our site, shortsalesdoneasy.com. And remember here at Short Sales Done Easy, we do make your short sale done easy.